hi guys so today i'm going to show you how i set up my youtube studio in my small room and the equipments that i use in my youtube studio so just as i stated <laughs> i use my room as my studio setup and it's quite small so i have to make everything work and to have everything work i have to have the most minimal minimal equipments and I have to set them in the right places because if I don't set them in the right places in the right angle or direction that video ain't gonna work so the first equipment that I that I use is my camera and the camera that I use is a Samsung A32 Galaxy and that is what I need I always use to shoot my videos okay and I'm using my behind camera lenses just i don't know if i'm in frame so i use this particular mirror to show me if i'm in a frame yeah so i make sure that i'm in frame by using my mirror i wipe my lenses with a soft cloth and after that i set my exposure on lock and i set my iso and my shutter speed also because i use an external app that i downloaded on google play store to be my camera app, okay so i don't use my camera app that came with the phone so that's basically it the second equipment that i use and that has really amped up my video quality is my audio equipment so i'm using this lapel mic over here it's a generic one it's i don't know the name it's generic and i bought it online and like six no four months six four four to six months ago i got also this wireless lapel mic over here i use this mic when i'm vlogging and when i am in a far distance where my wired lapel mic cannot reach that is my audio setup and it's connected to my phone in the in the headphones jack let me just show you how it looks so here it is here it's where it's connected this microphone will do you good the second the third the, that equipment that i use is my lighting setup and i use a softbox i previously was using a softbox and a ring light but my ring light spoiled yeah and so i have had to use this softbox softbox on its own and it's working really good for me and it was quite cheap it was quite cheap very very affordable and it gives me a very nice lighting let me show you how my softbox is set here is my softbox that is my phone and i know most of you are asking me why have you set your phone in front of the lighting let me tell you babes hmm? i was watching a video by by the think media team one of the videos one of their videos and this dude was using one light one lighting setup and he was using a softbox and he placed it in front of him and he was saying that place your softbox either in front of your camera or at an angle so i can't place it at an angle because i don't have the space my bed is here i am i am seated on my bed so i i i placed mine in front of my camera and it should be quite closer to where you are because it the bigger or the closer it is the bigger the lighting and the softer the lighting and as you can see i bet it's doing the job the other one is my background the thing that i really look at when i am setting up my studio is my background so i have i'm seated on my bed on my bed and i have a background over there that i really try to make it neat as possible and presentable as possible okay so the first thing that you can see is that diy yarn wall wall art i did by myself 
if you would want to see that video i will it will be my pleasure to show you and i have this one this gray framed chatsy thing inside with subscribe like comment share kindly don't forget to do that do all this this one i also did that by myself the day i diy that one also and i have also my bottle of water my artificial plants my eiffel tower that i really do love and my candle over there then i go to this other side i have my bags over there i think you can see them but not that much then i have my shelves well, there's shelves for you okay let me just call it that i have my shelf over there that has an led light running through and I have my things over there and I that is basically my background and I bet you see it most of the time when I'm doing sit down videos you see that background every single time okay so you have to make sure that, that your background is well kept it's it's neat it's not cluttered it just looks organized and that is my background. Sorry, I forgot to share with you about my tripod stand. So I'm using a Wing Fang 3560 that I unboxed and I have a link. I have a video for that. I'll place it above here. So I bought this, this tripod stand I guess three to four months ago and it has been working well for me. It is light and it can hold up to 3.5 kg, 3 kg, 3.5 kg. So it can hold your phone, it can hold your hold your there's a lot camera and it's steady it's stable it's good you know it's good so if you're thinking of getting a tripod stand get this one don't get the other ones get this one hoping you have loved this video kindly subscribe to this channel if you haven't liked this video and share this video with your friends and your loved ones and let's um connect more on my instagram i'll leave my link down below and uh, i'm trying <laughs> What? And I can get